Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Right, welcome aboard to our train simulator live stream. Hey, I'm back. Um, it's been a couple days. Um, we had a major meltdown in our area on our internet supply. Um, we've had no communications, uh, phone networks been down, um, hardly any reception at all with uh, mobile phones and internet just been completely down and it, it came back online late last night um and uh yeah it was re like real late last night it, it came back online i've been offline for the last couple of days unfortunately i haven't been able to get to you guys for 147 action for american truck simulator or euro truck simulator um and i haven't been able to give you this one which i was promised to do yesterday but um yeah, I couldn't get online at all. I any, anyway, I'm a bit hungover today. Had a bit of a party last night. Uh, so it is Saturday, uh, the 15th of April, 2023. And hello to you all. I am the Aussie Don, your 2023 Week 6 Screenshot Contest winner for Train Simulator Classic. And that's the game we are playing here today. And of course, we're on PC. And uh, we're checking out the brand new Union Pacific, uh, Union Pacific, <laughs> Union Workshop, third party company that is well known for their Chinese and Japanese routes for Train Simulator Classic. And uh, we are doing our first look at the brand new, oh, I've been begging for this route for so damn long. Finally, we got ourselves a Tokyo commuter route. And at long last, a Tokyo commuter uh is here now there is talk about an extension to this route later down the track but for now we've got this hopefully fingers crossed we've got an extension coming up later on there is a ai train on this that is not drivable very similar to what the u-bahn is for just trains uh which is actually coming to tra train simulator for the p16 players very very soon uh so uh anyway we are here to give you the gameplay, and we are doing the... Uh, there is two trains you can drive uh, on this, so we're doing, we've got a whole bunch of uh, uh, career scenarios. Look at all the scenarios you get with this thing. I think there's like 19 in total, and yet it's quick drive as well. Uh, it is incredible. Uh, so we've got uh, the, e, uh, the E2... Uh, E22... Uh, sorry. E233 slash 1000 EMU. And we have the uh, this one here, which is uh, you can see on the screen there on the uh, right uh, left hand corner there, uh, the E233 3000 EMU. And there's a couple scenarios for that one, and there's a whole bunch of them. As you can see, I've got a, already got a silver star. I've already done a quick run earlier today. I just wanted to test it out, and oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, it is awesome. Anyway, today we are doing an 8.22 uh, service, and uh, we are going to take the E233 uh, 
uh, 1000 EMU. And uh, trust me, there's going to be tons more gameplay of this Japanese route. I cannot wait to give you more gameplay. This thing is absolutely incredible. I've been begging for a Tokyo route for a long time. And uh, yeah, when they were talking about an extension, I'm like, yes, please. So um, yeah, that uh, the AI train is, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but um, could possibly be added later on with the extension uh, of you know, other services on Tokyo. Uh, so it's going to be awesome. I could not wait to, uh, if that's the case. So anyway, we're doing the local service uh, today. Um, I'm not even going to pronounce uh, these names uh, at all. Um, I, some Japanese names are very hard, but anyway, there is a, um, there is a, uh, announcement person that speaks in Japanese and English in this as well, folks. So, uh, do look for that as we head into stations, you'll hear, uh, Japanese and then you'll hear English. By the way, folks, our live stream chat is open to subscribers only. It is in English only. So if you are from Japan, konnichiwa, welcome aboard and, um, yeah, um, I don't speak Japanese, so English, please. Thank you very much. Um, all right. Can you guys see anything I want to say? Uh, <laughs> all right. So uh, here we go. 8.22 a.m. service uh, we are doing. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Union Pacific, uh, Union Workshop, sorry, uh, that is uh, done this. Union Workshop are a part of Train Sim World 3 now as well, folks. They are bringing a, uh, well, it could be Chinese, it could be Japanese. We don't know yet. But there is a route on its way. Uh, down later down the track for uh, not right now I could probably be safe to say it'll be 2024 when we see something from them and obviously yeah we'll be getting closer to um, the release of Train Sim World 4 <laughs> alright alright so let's get that on uh, and we shall open up those doors and we're gonna hit this EB button. That's you gotta press that e electronic boutique. Yes, it is B EB games. All right. Should I? Why have we got those ones on? This is the Keihin Tohoku line train for Ofuna. The next station is Warabi, JK41. Warabi. Warabi. Oh, yeah. And that's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> look how Japanese this is. Oh, look at this. Yes, we've got the Japanese trees. I didn't actually see that before. Wow. This is so Japan. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, we have uh, French Chase here uh, saying I have uh, NS safety train coming to my area. Oh wow, fantastic man. Safety train is it? Uh, so that's a special um, special train is it? Or that does, um, what What does that involve? Uh, maintenance? Uh, is it like uh, testing the track? Yard over there, folks. Look at that. There's the other train over there, folks, uh, on the other side there. It's very unique. Uh, you got the double, you got the uh, 
two uh, bi-level cab on uh, in the middle of it. You know, a couple of bi-level cabs. And you got the single cabs on the rest of it. It's very unique. It's not anything I've seen uh, in uh, Japanese uh, stuff so far for train simulator. So you know, we've got a couple of routes from Union Pacific and uh, oh, Union Pacific. I'm going to get that right. Sorry, workshop. I am so sorry. Why would they name their route close to a certain train today? First responder uh, safety train. Okay, okay. Don't ask me what that's about, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're coming into our first stop. I stuffed that up real hard. Uh, and, and of course, uh, we have people that are stuck in the doors. And uh, that lady looks Japanese, but I don't know about the others. And I just go straight through the venting machine. Yeah, why not? Trust me, I was offline and I was uh, coming into the stations way better than this. This is uh, incorrect. What I just did then, incorrect. So yeah, you see these boards here, you work off that and then you sort of a little bit on, as you can see, I absolutely stuffed that up. I only got 76. I think 150 is the maximum you can get. But, uh, I might be wrong because this has been a bigger service than the one I did earlier today. Uh, there is 25 stops. Oh, no, it's not 25 stops. So there's all go vias. Um, yeah, if I remember rightly, there's all go vias. Don't listen to these go vias as well, folks. The go vias are actually on top of the station. So you got to be careful of that. And by the way, this is available on the Steam, uh, on PC Steam. It's uh, not on... Uh, I... Tried to find their website today, actually. Oh, I didn't see they got a website. Um, someone could point that out if there is a website. Let me know. Uh, because, yeah, I'd like to check it out. Uh, yeah, so this is the first Japanese route since the uh, the high speed one that we did as well with the um, the aqua with the pink looking train with the look like the big giant duck uh, nose on the front of it, bullet train. So this is the first Japanese route since then, and that was just north of Tokyo, that route actually, so... So I have more live streams uh, set up for later today. Um, I haven't posted them up on the channel yet, but I have got uh, to build some uh, trucks and stuff and get them ready for today's streaming. Actually, I think I've got one already. Uh, good news is I didn't lose I didn't lose anything for Euro Truck Simulator. I only lost the uh, DB Creation stuff, which was obvious. And here we are at our next stop. 
So you go off the uh, 10 board uh, down here, which I pretty much knew that would be the case anyway, even before Jamie previewed it. I thought, you know, knowing the Japanese stuff like I do, I'd like, yeah. I've got a lot of experience with Japanese games back in the PlayStation 1. <laughs> Yep, we're not too bad on that one, not too bad on that one. A little bit over. Yeah, little, little tiny bit over, not too much this time around actually. There goes the other train. Union design. Alright, let's look at, listen to the doors, here we go. Yeah, they should have had the PSIs working actually, that would that's a bit of a downer for me. Lovely train though. I like how the uh, the big the screen here with the kilometers is actually big and bold. You can actually see it. It's quite cool. Sort of a jerk with the, uh, when you hear that ding, that means you got to start slowing down. I sort of slow down before that anyway. First time I heard him say that. Please watch your step. Imagine if I put the train right on the thing, it'll be like, <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> Gotta jump over. <laughs> I'm not doing too well with these stops today. I was doing way better when I... Man, what the hell? The next station is Akabane JK38.
Okay, I've been up through here already. Um, in my uh, what's the name? There's a big, massive uh, bridge just here. I'm not really worried about losing points anyway, because yeah, it's not about that. I just want to enjoy the run. Doesn't matter if you get a gold, silver, bronze, doesn't really matter. I don't care. I never, you know me, I've never been a big fan of the point system on train simulator. So yeah, I've been down this way um, on my first trip, so. I know where I'm at now. They really got to do something about those NPCs walking through stuff all the time. Big station, this one. The next station is Higashi Junjo, JK37. The doors on the right side will open. bit of a slope here. Just be aware of that.
Okay, coming up to our next stop. Very good, very good. Whoop, oh, hang on, I'm gonna get run over. We hope you're enjoying the run so far, folks. This is our. Uh this is our first look at the uh, brand new uh, Tokyo commuter. Just been released, uh, train simulator. The new workshop is uh, people behind the game. On the route, sorry. These are dovetail games. By the way, there is a big core update coming uh, for Train Simulator. I did the same thing when I was online, actually. But that you just see. That particular part of this route actually catches me all the time. run I did offline I, uh, I could tell you my points are not going too well at the moment I don't really care <laughs> it's, not, it's not about that you guys a good game experience and that's all it's about I don't really care about that all I care about is the amount of views I get which is currently our YouTube channel is 95% down on views come on folks where are you at where have you all gone I have lost a lot of viewers, especially people from India. Where are you at? You're too busy watching the IPL. Come and watch me. I know I'm watching the IPL as well. I'm <laughs> we watching it. Don't worry. Night Riders are doing quite good this year, which is pretty good because I'm a Night Riders fan. that actually because uh, going to be going down the slope just here and I know for a fact that uh, you'll end up taking off on me as 
you can see, <laughs> it's going to take off on me. So you got to be very aware. Actually, I think I've been as far as this station uh, on my original run. Might have been a bit further. I think it was this station. No, it wasn't. Oh, there's that other train, by the way. That's that train I was telling you about. That's the AI train. Uh, so, I am hoping uh, that the extension uh, talk is true. Uh, apparently, they, they've already said something about it, so I don't know where people have heard that from, but I was watching the YouTuber earlier uh, mention it. So I thought, okay, that sounds uh, good. Oh, look at that. That's very, very good. All right, now we got that one very nicely. Very nicely. Like crows or something. Look at those beautiful blossom trees. A big call update for coming for Train Simulator at uh, later this month. I do believe it's the 27th. It'll be the 28th for here, here in Australia. But well, yeah, we've got a big call update coming, which is uh, some exciting news there. Um, there's a couple routes actually in the pack that we don't have. Uh, but uh, we've got the Pen, uh, pen uh, Nits Tab Arm. Uh, we already got that one already. Uh, actually, we already got the Long Island Railroad and the other route, uh, which is the uh, which is the Northern Trans Pennine, obviously modern version of it. Um, yeah, it, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not really a good pack. Um, the only thing that probably sort of goes is the East Coastway um, for the Deluxe, but I'll be honest with you guys, Northern Trans Pennine is not really that good. Um, the only thing I'm really excited about it is the the um, around the time we had the core update last year, uh, we had a route release around the same time as well. So there could be something else in the works. Um, I'm not too sure. Quite well. That was a yeah. That's a great stop, actually. Mm, a little bit off. Yeah, we're a little bit short. Ah, well. Not to worry. They can get out of that. Don't worry. That's fine. That is fine. What have we got over here? Oh, a bunch of cats. <laughs> oh, my daughter would like that. You know. Well, we're getting loser points now. Ah, oh, see? We're going to end up with zero points here. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. This is one of the reasons why I don't normally have a point system on. This is just a load of shit. And why I normally do quick drive. Oh, well, I won't be getting any stars. I don't really care.
definitely gone further on this one than I have been on my first run. What's in there? What's the names on this one? Oh, there's not. Oh, wow. Oh wow, there's no barriers on this one. Yeah, so this is the other train. Uh, so there it is. I'm not sure what that is, but it uh, could be a 2000, could be a 1000, uh, uh, 4000, I'm, I'm not too sure what the series is. Oh, we gained uh, 70 points on that one. Hey! Well, that works out good. I'll go by JK31 North. Yeah, this reminds me of the old PlayStation days, you know, the original PlayStation. They used to have a... So, oh, there's the Tokyo Tower. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, uh, yeah this, this is the first time I've ever played, like, a proper Tokyo Japanese route like this uh, since then. And, uh, man, it just brings back so many memories of the original days, like the original PlayStation playing all the great Japanese uh, train routes. Oh, look at it, it's right there over the back. <laughs> Lol, it makes it look like it's... See, when you go up in the world, it looks pretty bare, doesn't it? But, uh... Yeah, when you come down on it, though, yeah. It looks pretty good. It's damn... It's... Yeah, it's been done very well. That's all I can say. <laughs> The next station is Ueno JK30. The doors on the right side will open. Please change here for the Shinkansen Utsunomiya Line, Takasaki Line, Joban Line, Ginza Subway Line, Hibiya Subway Line, and the Keisei Line. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. This is our final stop by the way. Oh wow, that was uh that was so cool having the trains in between it, like on the side there. That was that was absolutely sick. So cool. Now I'm a huge fan of this. This is this is all this is this is very very well done. Uh, this is a ten out of ten for me. It's really good. Five stars, folks. I have to say, Union Union Pacific's uh, best ever route. Uh, Pacific. Sorry. I said it again, didn't I? Union Workshop. I apologise once again. Please change your name. <laughs> I'm just going to say the Asian specialist for, of Train Simulator. That's it, hands down. And soon, Train Simworld. They are they are involved in Train Simworld. They are uh, currently, you know, just outlining, you know, their their projects, you know, and uh, obviously they're working with Dovetail with, um, you know, their ideas and stuff, and obviously with, you know.
That's perfect, look at that. That's great. Alright, here we are. So, there we go with our first look, ladies and gentlemen, of the Tokyo Commuter for Train Simulator. It's now available for, uh, for download and you can buy it. Uh, it is a pay. You have to pay for it. Uh, so, do note that. It is incredible. Um, highly recommended. If you're just getting into Train Simulator, or if you are waiting for the new, uh, up, uh, the new Train Simulator core uh, update, which is technically it's the 2020 free version of Train Simulator. Um, let's have a look at the results. We've got a 566. 566 points. Um, Alright, uh, so we've got no stars as predicted. Uh, so yeah, I don't really mind that. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, that w It wasn't about that. You know, we got a few points, which is good. Uh, the E233 uh, slash 1000 EMU. Uh, was the uh, trip we did here. Uh, our next time we come to you live for Train Simulator with the Tokyo Commuter, we will bring to you the other loco. Uh, and uh, yeah, do join us for that one. Uh, that will be a fantastic trip where we'll do the other loco uh, the next time we're with you guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. It's been an honor and privilege bringing you Tokyo Commuter's first look here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. And uh, we will see you next time for more action here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Don't forget, later on today, we'll be with you guys with Train Sim World action, uh, Train Sim World 3 action, and we've got uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 on the cards as well here on this 15th of April 2023. My name is Yossi Don, your 2023 Week 6 Screenshot Contest winner for Train Simulator Classic, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.